You are listening to Second Chance Ministry Radio. Twenty one powerful scriptures to keep you in God's perfect peace. Quick Guide Powerful Scriptures. Written by Bumi Tokan. Narrated by Randy Fuller. You already have this peace. Romans chapter 5, verse 1 through 2. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. John chapter 14, verse 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace. I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. What God Will Do Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3 You will keep in perfect peace with those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 and 7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Romans chapter 15 verse 13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Psalm chapter 119 verse 165 Great peace have those who love your law, and nothing can make them stumble. You can enter a time of peace. Acts chapter 9 verse 31 Then the church throughout Judea, Galilee, and Samaria enjoyed a time of peace and was strengthened, living in the fear of the Lord and encouraged by the Holy Spirit. It increased in numbers. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 10 through 11 For anyone who enters God's rest also rests from their works, just as God did from His. Let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest, so that no one will perish by following their example of disobedience. 1 Kings chapter 4 verse 24 For he ruled over all the kingdoms west of the Euphrates River, from Tipsa to Gaza, and had peace on all sides. Psalm chapter 37 verse 10 through 11 A little while, and the wicked will be no more. Though you look for them, they will not be found. But the meek will inherit the land and enjoy peace and prosperity. John chapter 16 verse 33 I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Your dwelling is peaceful. Isaiah chapter 32 verses 17 through 20 The fruit of that righteousness will be peace. Its effect will be quietness and confidence forever. My people will live in peaceful dwelling places, in secure home, disturbed places of rest. Though hail flattens the forest and the city is leveled completely, how blessed you will be, sowing your seed by every stream and letting your cattle and donkeys range free. Luke chapter 2 verse 14 
Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Your Own Attitude Romans chapter 14, verse 17 and 18 For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Because anyone who serves Christ in this way is pleasing to God and receives human approval. Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 through 24 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Jesus Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Philippians chapter 4 verse 9 Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 3 Grace and peace be yours in abundance through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Romans chapter 12 verse 18 If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. James chapter 3 verses 17 and 18 But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. Peacemakers who sow in peace reap a harvest of righteousness. Bonus Matthew chapter 5 verse 9 Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Conclusion Now that you have gone through the book, you are better equipped for success because the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword. It only remains the application to ensure manifested success. So, here is what to do next. How to fight the good fight. First, meditate upon this scripture day and night, not on the problem. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Second, repeat the scriptures over and over to yourself. Say them out loud, personalizing them. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21. Third, even if you receive a negative report, speak these verses over the letter and over the conversations. Matthew chapter 4 verses 5 through 11. Fourth, start thanking God every day that your situation is resolved. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 God richly bless you. Bumi Token You are listening to Second Chance Ministry Radio.